welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension with me, Brainboy20. Where we had last left off, we had finally started mobilizing our Prophet and mobilizing the vast majority of the forces from the opposite side of our territories, dragging them to the front lines. Meaning this episode we should actually get into combat, but in the meantime we have finished research in Thaumaturgy finally giving us another completed magic path. We're going to research evocation, as it's the last possible one we can research. But with this finalized research in thaumaturgy, we have access to undead mastery, master, enslave, and astral travel. And then evocation is going to be the final one completed here, which will grant us access to these spells. Volcanic eruption, flames from the sky, flamestorm, nephil flames, tidal wave, celestial rainbows. And Strands of Arcane Power. And then we'll go into Blood Magic, but I don't really care as much for Blood Magic. So, some Alliance has been cast, a bunch of Summoning Spells have been cast, Akashi Acknowledge has been cast, but nothing found in Gentle Woods. All this stuff is still going on. We have the Battle of Gorillion to start off this war. Veritas apparently trying to kick us out with more Great Eagle spam. Unfortunately, they kind of die instantly. Battle at Dragon Port. They're really trying a lot of spells, but these spells are against the wrong people to use it against. Then we have Devil's Pond. Oh, this is us actually attacking them to continue taking water provinces from them. I think we should easily beat the Triton Gods. Oh, yes. These aren't amber. Yeah, these are just regular tritons. Not sure they should be instantly dead. And wow. Okay. Yeah, that's no chill whatsoever when you freaking freeze his heart. And the Battle of Fomoria, which is uh, them trying to kick us out of their fortress. Oh, yeah, the hounds don't care. The hounds are going to kill them regardless. Unexpected event in the drylands. Increase unrest, less gold, but locust swarms are eating the crops and causing widespread panic. Dustlands, a magic item has been found and transported to the arcane laboratory, giving us piercer. Children are disappearing at night, we've had this one before. Treasure has been found, black steel helmet, gems, and gold. And sneaking enemies were just murdered. Which should hopefully kill off the vast majority of people we could face. We're starting to destroy the gates in a busy, but we need more time to succeed, more time to succeed. Units are cured of diseases, death gems ground down to diseases. Oh my gosh, we have so many diseases, it's not even funny. Devil's Pond is starting to starve due to lack of supplies. Undead troops in Earthshore Desert are being killed by a holy force native to this land. Oh, that's right! I had forgotten about Gateward Valley. Oh well. We'll be moving to a place with more supplies later. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough. Because even with the supply bonus, we're not going to be able to handle the sheer number of people. Which is, I'm hoping that we're going to start taking over territories here. So what do we get here? Cradle of Faith, which grants us dominion spread. And excuse me, all those fortresses, really? Anyway, you can construct a lab? No. Uh, where's our priest? You're a lich. We have only two priests. Eh. Build me a temple. Preach the teachings of God. Patrol province. Patrol province. Patrol province. And we'll just have this temple built to continue to spread our domain. So we have the act we have the active magic side of Cradle of Faith as I really want to start pushing their domain strength back. And it's probably the Cradle of Faith that's making it so difficult for us to just push outward, domain-wise. And without that, we should start taking over all territories nearby. Now that you've made it here, it's time for us to build a temple. I.e., let's get more domain strength. Oh, okay. I'm actually interested in this. We've actually pushed our domain into one of their fortresses, meaning it's to our benefit to send some of our armies there. And I am stretching to the degree that it's killing me. And all those people are still defending. We're getting our troops rebuilt after they've had these horrible, horrible deaths. 
Now we had a force of long deads to contend with, right? Yep. Zaknadar the Lich. Now let's just make sure we're not getting them, like, confused. And by confused, I mean not having all these troops put in the wrong location. We'll put the Summer Lions in with the group. And the Children of Rocks. How many magic troops can you actually command? 45. Okay. So about one more casting of this. And, wow, you have a lot of water gems. I really need to improve your water skills a bit more. Like, I'm actually going to do that right now. Because we definitely can just have you cast water spells out of the ass. Cower. You know what? You can patrol the province. It's your kind of your sacred duty. Melagog. How hurt are you? Oh. I wasn't aware you lost an arm. And you might be a disease healer. And you might have reinvigoration, but I kind of want... I, I, I want you to get your arm back. And I'm going to have you cast Brood of Garm again. I don't even know when you took that disease. Shek, you will just patrol. Gunnar, I actually would like you to... Is there anything that's even worth... Yeah, we can awaken some Draugr. We have no one else here. We have Kramnir, who's moving through... I mean, I can put all those on the Tree Lord, but I don't think I can actually give you any magic units. Yeah. So, Gramner... Uh, can you keep marching? We'll encounter a large force later. Oh, Gorm? You're the only one here? I mean, if we're not full, we can definitely shove more troops into their armies. Such as this. Oh, we have Thirel the Tarask. Yes, I had completely forgotten. Uh, Gutum the Hellcarl will get another force together, primarily comprised of whatever remains, and we will mix our forces. Rex is not included. Gorm definitely will, and we'll take these armies and continue marching north. And, jeez Louise, do we have a humongous army. I... I am fairly certain that this will be the final nail in the coffin once the Orel makes it into the main front lines. But before we do that, I'm going to have to do a lot of changing to the Orel's combat maneuvers so I can have him cast the spells I want. Uh, is there anyone here that I could take immediately? And do we have enough troops here to justify it? Not really. Can you command magic beings? You can command a few. Like, I will actually give the Dust Priest some vine dust priest some vine men just as a little bit of a courtesy even though you have a lot of fire magic which ultimately is a very poor decision on my part Sigurd I have been having you forge magic items I want you to forge more we have mage bane I might as well get Holgo or the head yeah we'll get Holgo or the head uh, Sus Rumur, you have your army, you're going to continue taking the long march to the front lines, just because it's going to take a long time. Childeric, it is time for you to construct me another temple, and continue hopefully boosting our domain strength so we can start pushing them out here. Okay, Plague Tooth and Company, you're not actually going to move just yet. I actually am going to have you cast Brood of Garm, because we have enough nature gems to pull this off. Pooled, I'm just going to have you preach, because I don't have anything else for you to do. Sinjolf, we have enough to do another bout of Pale Rider. What, what do we need more here? What do we need more here? First things first, let's actually get our army spread out to figure out what we actually don't have anymore. Plague, to Plague Tongue can definitely grab some troops here. Pale Riders will fill out the squad a bit more. Though, yeah, you can command a lot of undead troops. I don't know why I'm even remotely worried. And who the dis will get more troops together. Uh, we have enough recruit. We have enough repeating recruitment going on here, right? We have enough repeating recruitment where we could probably uh, shove on just a couple more Huskarls. And one more Heardman. Um, Modic, Brood of Garm, me. Bissil, Brood of Garm, me. Gisil. I will actually have the Army of the Dead. Ooh. I am 
tempted to... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, I thought this was lit up for whatever reason. Well, maybe. What, what items do we have? I can give you the skull staff. The skull staff, and then laugh. And laugh. And laugh. What does Control the Dead do? Over some undead beings. No, it's not undead mastery. Uh, let's see here. I forgot we had the pocket lich. Still not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this, and we'll start having you cast some ritual spells, Sinjolf. So, or, yes, Sinjolf, cast ritual spell. I want you to army of the dead. I'm, re I'm really curious. I'll just manifest an army of dead ones. Gasil, you will cast the ritual spell, summon pale riders. Plague tongue will cast the ritual spell, shade beasts. And Fobar will preach. And we'll continue to try to push their domain out of this place. With our temples, that shouldn't be that difficult, but we know how long it's going to take. And uh, Jatmund. Ayos, you're still taking your sweet time and making it to the World's Teeth Mountains. Ringhorn the Hangadrot. Oh, we're not taking that many. I was like about 40 of you. I don't see how many I can grab. That's not what I'm looking for. As I just want to create a like, generic amount of squads. And I don't want the rest to be skirmishers. I'm trying to get the number right. Because I would rather have more Herdman skirmishers with front lines. And Ringhorn can finally take some of these troops out of here. And hopefully through the rest of my territories. Plague Dunk, I forgot to have you just patrol. Fort Sith and Ardvind. Uh, you don't have full troops just yet, or the full complement of troops. Although, sending you to the north is not a problem for me. Topagog, you've already done something. Mundiflare. Mundifar. Keep marching. You and company will finally join them and start healing some afflictions, because we kind of need to get rid of those. Everyone's being empowered. Everything we can possibly do is over and done with. Holy freaking heck, our just sheer amount of supplies. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't know what else to really do here. The Wormwood Witch, we've already got all this stuff. I know I missed one province, and it's going to bother me until I actually know what province I missed one. The one that I missed was... I'm going to just save up my gold because I have no use of it. I don't think I can transmute the gold in anything useful. Admittedly, I could just buy all the mercenaries. I'll hire you. We'll see what you look like. I don't know what's going to happen to outbid me. Congratulations. Nation overview. Not nation overview. That's not what I wanted. I want to see the Hall of Fame, just for funsies. We've taken over the entirety of the Hall of Fame. I'm not even going to lie. We, we've just taken it. Unequal to obesity. Fabo with heroic precision. I'm just looking for anyone who does not look right. Oh, you had heroic reinvigoration. I completely forgot. You would have been great had you not charged into melee. Which is entirely your fault. Sigh. Are most of those nations dead? Or am I missing a nation entirely? No, it's literally just me versus this nation. Which I'm steadily overwhelming him piece by piece. Do we own Old Man Mountains? Yes, we do. That's not what I mean to ask. Uh, what's our supply usage looking like? We are going to overrun supplies so quickly. But I almost feel as if like having recruitment on the front lines makes the most amount of sense. 
And we'll just have repeating recruitment go on here. And as our domain strengthens and death decreases, it should become easier and easier to keep recruiting. Topagog is not something I really care about, and I will end the turn, because there's not really much else to do. Okay, Pale Riders, Shade Beast, Nyad Warriors, Army of the Dead, I'm going to have to see how that looks. Akashay Acknowledge, something found in the Karakan Forest, Sparkling Fields, Sacrificial Grove, giving us more blood magic, and the form of Plenty. Which is nice. I don't know which one we gained from that, though. I think it's just the sparkling fields. More messages later. Garm, garm, garm. Battle in the Devil's Pond, which is the only one we really are fighting right now. Berdy's just trying to kick us out because they want their domain production back. And we should overwhelm them. Good. The Amman Forest, and abundance of rules and regulations are slowing down commerce. Let me punch you in the face. A sectarian movement has emerged in the province. Their false prophet is preaching and gathering his flock. Faith will decrease until you root them out, i.e., we get rooted out immediately. Haunted Wood, a travel chief from a distant land, has donated a golden precious item for the awakening god. As they should. Sneaky enemy was discovered. Let's see how this prophet looks. Vuldan the False Prophet, you heretic, die. It's kind of horrific when you think of it. It's like, uh, heresies in real life are usually very secluded, very well hidden. But in this case, it's near impossible to hide because we actually have out-and-out -out magic with us. Regardless, start to destroy the gate, and this evil we need more time to succeed. The entrance to the fortification in Fumori has been breached. We can enter any time now. Battle afflictions are cured. Units are cured of diseases. Disease ground to death gems. Patrolling troops are killing. Starve, starve, starve. Lacks of supplies everywhere. Celestial apostates have been fought. We'll fight for our cause. So what are you, and what are you doing? Celestial soldiers, celestial soldiers. A being of the celestial sphere. It is an appearance of a horse-headed man in full-scale armor. Armed with the glaive, celestial soldiers are strong and skillful warriors. They are sacred and can only be summoned by the celestial masters of the Tian Chi. Alright. March. Uh, we're finally getting battle afflictions cured piecemeal by the incoming of all these forces. Admittedly, however, Farseer Mountains is now overwhelmed by people. But it's not like I could really avoid that. I mean, they might have the supply bonus of 20, but we're also producing more troops than they could possibly manage. However, on that note, we're probably going to start taking these, like, we're probably going to take these humongous armies and send them out to the front lines again, because I think at this point we actually have our main troops together. At least everyone who matters is once again remade. Why are there so few shade beasts? Did I just forget to build them? That could very well be the case. Or they could be, like, split up somewhere. No, I just forgot to build them. Eh? It is at this point in time. Oh, yeah, we have just, like... Or at least... Can I select them all? It's just time to take our troops together and have the humongous horde go fighting. Now, I am really going to have to break these apart. Uh, water elemental will obviously not be together. Uh, we have the lumber construct over there. That doesn't matter as much. Going to split up the nature mages so they don't die. Adventurer, who's a necromancer, will also split up. I'll, I'll ship these two for a while. Um... Shek is on the front lines as usual. Fire people are in the like are going to be in the exact bottom area. I'm gonna see if I can keep them away from the horsemen. Now where's that humongous forest that's just one gigantic blob in the center? Those people are now getting to be frontline worthy. I'll move them up here to make more room. Ah, uh, this humongous forest, that's where it is. 
Now, we apparently have two sets of Pale Riders. I'd like to combine those two together. We only have one. I'm just being confused by it. But we'll move the Pale Riders up here. And this group will no longer be broken apart. We'll actually put them together with the other large section of Valkyries. And is there anything else, like, military-wise to combine back together? Can I put you two together? Yeah, it's probably for the best. And they'll also move forward, giving us a good magic line and non-magic line. These guys can be in the heat. They won't die that quickly. What? How are you alive? Okay, I'm guessing it's more of this is the effects of disease and I need to like get these guys out of the disease territories. It's hard to do that though when our like domain is not all over the place. And we are pushing it. We are actually pushing our domain out now. But it's still going to take a long time. Yeah, we're going to move everyone down to an area with even less supplies. And you're no longer going to preach. We have our armies here. I will have to move them around a little bit. Or will I? I have no problem just putting these armies together. We'll have more spellcasters than before. But there's no reason to have just multiple armies. And with that, I'll probably target... You no. Uh, here's where we're having problems because I don't actually know where to send all these troops. Look, I know I want to send you all here and go do so. Which I'm actually going to need to now break up this army because this army is humongous. And I need to actually make plans involving them. Like, how are they going to fight? Valkyries will be in their own section. There's no divine blessing here because we don't have the hangar draw. We don't have the Tarask to bless our army. Uh, the nature groups can be a part of these shade beasts. I don't care that much for this. Uh, of course, all these flyers will hold and attack the rearmost enemy as soon as they can. Same thing with the Valkyries. Oh, and we can take the one Valkyrie and put them together in a small force. And they're going to go try and take this area over. In the meantime, we finally have our temple together. People would be preaching, but we're not actually going to remain that much longer. We're going to keep trying to take locations. And before I forget, province defense. I've been neglecting this in the captured territories. Even if it's just a hundred tritons, it's still better than nothing. And I doubt they're going to break so easily. Oh. That's why the pro... Like, that's what I've forgotten. Get province defense at Farseer Mountains. That would have been embarrassing if they just waltzed on in and said, Hey, we're going to take this fortress now. I'm like, no you're not. But it's like, yeah. You didn't leave anyone to defend it. And then I cry a little bit inside. Alright everyone, storm the castle. Let's take Fomoria from them, shall we? Childeric, you're done there. Get on over to this side and get Sulthun, or Sulthu, finished. Uh, you're still marching in the light of God. Marching in the light of God. Uh, head on down south, because I think I'm going to have you form up together in a small army. Hringhorn, the Hangadrat, we'll keep marching. Jatmund, you finally made it to World Seath Mountains. Your reward is an army. Which is going to try to be a mixed force, but that's going to be kind of difficult. Now, where are the Heardmen? Alright, this will actually be like a legitimately mixed up force. And I don't need to care much about this being like exacting perfection. In fact, let's combine the two. Oh. Those aren't Huskarls. Are they regular spear-chucking Huskarls? 
Those are the spear chunkers, right? Yes. Alright, now we'll have you head on out and go join the front lines. Ah, we have the long dead commander. And we'll take these arm, these people, put them together again, giving us an even bigger force. And hopefully with this, we'll have enough people put together that we no longer have to care all about having to continue to rebuild the army, and everyone else can just join up afterwards. Now we'll spread them out a bit, because we have multiple humongous armies here. Now, companies... I forgot we had a Solus with us. Did we? Eh, who cares? We'll send them out to Carillion and see if we can take this location. Admittedly, these people were free of disease, but with our continuous pushing of our domain into their territory, they should start perishing soon. Ah, uh, Gramner, Gramner, I am being called, if you'll excuse me for one minute. You know, I really, I really, really try to avoid being contacted in the middle of my recording sessions, but my family seems to just be incessant about doing that. Regardless, I'm just going to finish up this turn as soon as I can. I just need to keep the movements going. I don't need messages anymore. Gormbraj, Theorel, and company keep marching. Do you have any troops here to pick up? No, we're probably going to pick up a free... Uh, is there... Oh, no, 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 no. That Don't kill yourself. Uh, Anselm's probably going to... No, actually, Anselm will join the army and build the temple behind the conquered territory, because we're definitely going to conquer it. Sigurd, forge me, forge me something good. Forge me Pegasus Axe of Rulership. Because at this point, I don't care about what's available. I'm just going to forge it anyway. If that's everything we can possibly make. I don't feel like doing any custom recruitments. What I will do, however, is not forget the fact that we're recruiting Hangadrots here and can start moving them out. We cast an Akashic Knowledge ne next, Blue Beauty. We got Akashic Knowledge in most locations, right? I and mean, there's still a few, like, Blue Moss Forests that have been neglected. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Svalin, like, March. And with that, we shall end the turn and the episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play Dominions Fall Thrones of Ascension. And I will be signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it helps out a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.